Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Chantal. I am in the operating room with Dr. Mandron. Now I will uh, present you the case he is on. Our patient is a 76-year-old. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2012. And as you can see, there was uh, one pos just one positive core of Bison score 3 plus 3. The MRI was normal. The PSA was about 7. So both the surgeon and the patient decided to go on active surveillance. And so he controlled himself for several years until 2017 when we discovered that there was a progression of the disease on the PSA, on the MRI as well, and also on the clinical examination. Here you can see the images. We discussed the case and uh, the oncological committee proposed both surgery or uh, therapy with hormones and radiotherapy. We talked to the patient and he decided to underwent the surgery. So today, Dr. Madron is performing a laparoscopic radical prostatectomy and lymphadenectomy. Okay. So perhaps we can start by an external view. Just I must say that I'm a left-hander surgeon, so that's why I'm working on the right side. You see the position of the port. We have four ports symmetric, one port at the level of, of the umbilicus, one 10 millimeter port about two, cent two fingers above the, the pubic bones, and two five millimeter ports on the pararectal line. Okay? And one additional one is for the assistant on the iliac crest on the left side. If you were a right-hander, it should be on the opposite side. So it's symmetric. During the surgery, I will work with these two ports, and during the, the anastomosis, to, be, to have a good triangulation, I will work with these two ports. I must say also that I work with a 3D lens. Thank you for Sturz. Perhaps you can see our, our face. We, are, we have glasses, special glasses. Okay? And also, perhaps you see my, my, my foot. I, I sit on a chair. Okay? Then, to be comfortable to work, you see the two arms along the body. And then, we are quite in a... In a low-cost uh, uh, 3D vision, low-cost robotic surgery, because you will see I will use also uh, scissors from Dex company, which is a French company, and perhaps you, can see you will see that the, these scissors can, can have a rotation and, and can have a, an, a, 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 an orientation, and then we can, we can, for several steps, just for several steps, we will use it. You will see. We have done already... Uh, Lymph node dissection, okay, and uh, it's not done on the left side, but it's, quite, it's done on the right side. Il faut changer la cartouche, elle marche plus. And we have also a pneumatic arm, perhaps you have seen the pneumatic arm, which is holding the lens. So in fact, we will work with five ports, but four hands, because the lens is totally fixed. So we start at the level of the bladder neck first. Eric, are you in trilateral position or, uh, or not? There is a little trilateral position because we are, uh, it's, a, uh, it's an extrafacial uh, dissection, so uh, I don't need a, a, a big trilateral position. I just place a patient in, in trilateral for, my, for the position of my, uh, my arm to be in good condition. Okay? So we have done uh, lymph node dissection previously. I, Still now, I have not opened the endopelvic fascia. You see the fascia here? It's what, here, which was the... It was extended, if not, or just... Uh, exactly, exactly. It was just... Obturator. Exactly. Obturator. Exactly. Obturator. So, now the, f the first step is to find the, the, the bladder neck. And uh, to find the bladder neck, one option is to, to collapse uh, the, the balloon, if you want, or to look at uh, the fat, fat part. Okay, and so you can see that the bulk of the prostate is somewhere here, so I can imagine that the, that the bladder neck is somewhere here. So we start medially, because all the pedicules are here, so I always start medially. No, no, we will commencer comme ça. We have a perfect vision. 
You have a perfect. Image is beautiful. I think you have a, a two yeah. division. Uh, we have a three division. Okay. So, image is, so you can imagine that it's. The uh, image is nice. Okay, perfect. On peut baisser un peu l'intensité lumineuse pour nous ou pas? Are you going to spare the bladder neck? Yes. Non, non, c'est pas, pas de, 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 la, de la pièce, c'est de, 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 de Storz, là, parce que c'est la source de lumière un tout petit peu. Oh là là, voilà. C'est bien, stop, c'est bien, c'est bien. Is it still okay for you? Yes? Ok, attention, Christine. Yes. C'est bon, là Oui, oui, c'est bien. Je vais m'aider. So for that you use the traction on the bladder yes. in order to So you the see yes of, uh, what is important is to remain the, the bladder under tension and to find and I like to go laterally to find a little hole This is a pudental artery or what No I don't think so And then I I can go laterally okay and here I will be posterior to the prostate and I will find the seminal vesicle on this side, okay? You, I think you will see it. And then when, it, when it's done, in fact, remain all this. This is a pedicle, and he, here, this is what we want to, to, to dissect, just to, to, to isolate the bladder neck. Attention, I'm not well installed in the first plan, voilà. Restez comme ça. So you see here, for example, at, at that time, I will use the, the, the scissors, uh, robotic scissors, just to be uh, more efficient for the posterior aspect of my... Uh okay. So you see, I can, I can just use the scissors with a... And then I can I can be posterior to the to, to the bladder neck, you see, and just for several steps I can use it just to be really in a in in a better condition. It, it is not too heavy. No, it's not too heavy. It's uh, just a matter of uh, working with. Okay. Okay, so I think the posterior aspect is done on this side. We'll do exactly the symmetric. On va remettre la, uh, la coque de l'autre côté. And I want to spare uh, as maximum as I can the bladder neck. With a 3D lens, it's like with the robot. I, I used to do the robot also. Uh, I, I used to work very close to the prostate. Because then you are able to see very well, okay? On préparera des hémologues. Parfait. So you see here, this is uh, the little window. Okay. And now I'm totally posterior. You see the, the, the seminal vesicle at the, at the tip of my instrument, and I will just enlarge. Why, why did you change? Why did you change the scissors? You, you didn't I, continue I, to use this. Uh, I will just use the, 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 the robotic scissors when when my scissors is not when I have a conflict. In fact, when it's straight, you don't need it. And in fact, I will use it for several steps. You will see for the beginning of the, of the here, for example, it's a it's little bit difficult for me to finish. So I will just change. You will see at the time of the apex, I will also uh, do it, okay? So you see this kind of tool, it's not for the whole procedure. It's just for, for, for some little step when you need it. Ok, 
like you see that you can go behind the prostate totally huh? and with this three division you, you can see very well what you are doing ok on, on se remet en ciseau normal on va retirer après la sonde vésicale so it's quite finished for the blood and neck I think we have done a good job you see very well the vast difference here and in fact quite everything is done On va retirer la sonde vésicale, s'il vous plaît. The dexterity is a single use, or you can use no, it no, uh, it's many a, times? No, it's a reusable news, uh, uh, tool. So. Est-ce qu'on peut retirer la sonde vésicale, s'il vous plaît Okay, perfect. So now you have, we have a good, uh, a good uh, urethra, huh? and we can. Exposure. So it's okay. And now we can transect the urethra. And doing th this way, if you have a median lobe, you can you can deal with the median lobe. Okay. So now we can we can do the second step. Second step is just uh, doing the posterior aspect of the seminal vesicle. It's quite a, an e easy time. I, I always like to start medially in between the two vas to enlarge. And always, because we are uh, only two, I, I, you see my assistant is lifting up everything in, in front of the, of the lens. Because the, the lens is on, on the pneumatic arm, everything is, is fixed. And then you have just to place in front of the, of the screen. Instead of moving the, the lens, just placing it. And then we start. And you see that really well, the posterior aspect now. The denovillier fascia here is not open right now. I just try to enlarge as maximum as I can, okay? And now I will, I will do the, the seminal, the vast difference first. Just outside, we will have the pedicle. We, you will prepare the uh, hemlock clip, please. Bougez pas, je vais pour l'instant me débrouiller tout seul, Christine. Ok, Ciso. Vous pouvez remonter un peu le trocar en même temps, s'il vous plaît, Nathalie. Celui-là. Ok. Uh, there is a question in the in the floor. Yes. They ask uh, if uh, there is, is is there any difference between the 2D and 3D vision in terms of the quality of dissection. Yes, yes, yes. I think I, I think I improve I improve a lot my, the quality of the dissection with because I was I'm working now for quite two years with the 3D vision and I think it's uh, much more comfortable for the for all the dissection. So you see we are now on the posterior aspect of the de I, It's not open already. I will do symmetrically the, the, right, the, the left, the right side. So Christine will hold the, the vast deferent. We'll start medially. Always the same, sur always the same surgery, always the same technique. OK, prenez le deferent, Christine, au-dessus de moi. Parfait. In fact, all the steps are really codified. You see that now I will ask uh, Christine to take the tip of the, of the seminal vesicle. Christine, prenez la, la pointe. We are working for now 20 years together and uh, we, we, we don't speak a, at all. Emolot, please. So we will go, we'll do the, 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 the pedicle. If you want to spare the seminal vesicle, for example, when it's uh, for, for in this indication, it's not the case. But for, for young patients, you can transect the seminal vesicle at that time. And now you will, we will arrive at the time of the end of the dissection. Okay? 
So now it's time of doing uh, the, the, the bundles. But before, we will, I will open the De Novilier fascia. Okay? If I want to do uh, an intrafacial surgery, I will, I will start there, you see. But here, it's not the indication. It's a 76-year-old patient. So I will do an interfacial, as we discussed with Thierry Piechot. So I will just open the fascia. And I will start to see clearly the layer. And I give it to Christine, OK? And now I will just have to, to go immediately and to find the good layer. I will just zoom a little bit to, to, to be able to see very well what, you, what I'm doing. OK, you see very well the, the, the good layer. Okay. This patient is 76 years old. Is it a limit for uh, or a uh, limit of age for radical prostatectomy? It depends or on is the. Is it indication for so? It depends on the physiology. Uh, if some he, patient. Yes, if he is uh, really uh, uh, fit, I think it's not a, a contraindication. Okay, because we know that we are doing a good surgery. Uh, the only thing is uh, con concerning the continence. I think. Uh, after 75 years old, they could have more uh, incontinence at the, for the first few months. And in my uh, personal practice, I, I, I gave them some re-education, pelvic re-education before the surgery to uh, have a very uh, good uh, muscular uh, uh, condition and to know very well their pelvis before. So you see now, uh, I started to, to do the, the right side, okay? And at, the ti at that time, I don't need really the, to use the, the scissors, uh, robotic scissors, but when, when I will need it, I will again take it for, for, for example. At that time, sometimes it's useful to be uh, perpendicular to, to the bundle, so I will show you that. The scissors are quite large. Uh you are not bothered by the perspective? No, I'm not bothered by the, by the, by the perspective. You see that when I want... It takes place. Yes, it takes place, place but for, for, for a few steps, it can be a good idea, for example, to just to have a good dissection and to enlarge your field and then... Uh, at the end, to, 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 to come back again with, an, uh, with, an, uh, with your normal scissors, you see that you can, you can do a di dissection perpendicular to the, to the bundles, and then it can be a, a good option for, from somewhere. So I will just enlarge on the opposite side. Vous avez mis la coag, s'il vous plaît Vous pouvez mettre la coag OK. On va remettre les ciseaux normalement. And now we will really start the, 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 the dissection for the bundles. So we, we are starting from the left side, for example. So it depends some, on... Uh, some people are, are, are dissecting a little bit more laterally uh, the rectum. Yes. So you, you just dissect uh, no, up front, I, but... Uh, I will do it, but really, right now, I, I have not done anything uh, as for the beginning, so I will have to, to do the vesicoprostatic pedicle first here to, 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 to enlarge my dissection. Emolop, please. Okay. And then you will see I will, I will go again. Another one. And now we will start the... Thank you. Ciseau. Uh, I, I don't hear. 
We, uh, a question in the floor, Do, which kind of lens are you using, a zero or it's a, it's 30? A, it's a zero, okay, on peut avoir les, les, les petits clips de 5 mm maintenant, s'il vous plaît. Zero. And now I'm, I, will I will start by uh, working with mini clip, 5 mm clip. And what I want is to, f to find again the post this posterior dissection. You see now? Very important to, to retake this, this posterior aspect. Here you see this posterior aspect, so I will go on. And here I like to enlarge, you see, and to, to dissect the rectum. You see now how it's here. I, I hold the, the posterior aspect of the De Novilliers. We'll prend, Christine. Okay. And it's helped me to, 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 to go on with the dissection. Oui. In terms of clips, you use the small clips and not the hemologs. No. At that time, I won't use any, any more. Any, any, uh, any device, uh, no coagulation, just mini clip. So you are doing extra facial surgery, is that right? Exactly, exactly. When you have so many uh, 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 vessels, it's extra facial, it's interfacial. You, you, you are going to do interfacial? Exactly. Okay. So you see, uh, we, we go on slowly. Huh? On change the clip, s'il vous plaît. On va reprendre. And now I, it starts to be uh, difficult to, to work with, Chris, with, with my assistant, so I, w I have to, to come with, my, with, with the robotic scissors just to... Okay, and now you see that I will be much more comfortable to, to go on for this time, because I, I won't cross my, my hand with, 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 with Christine, okay? Okay, you see now very well the internal view, the external view, and uh, that's exactly what I want to, to see. Christine, stay concentrated with me. And now it's again straight, so I, I don't need to have now the, the robotic tools. So you see, for just for little steps, I will use it. And when it's again straight, in the good axis, I don't need to, to have it. And I will use as, I don't know how many clips, but it, 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 it depends on the, uh, I can use 70 clips, no, no problem. I just go on millimeter by millimeter, and I go, I just go 
straight. You, you, you are using the clips yourself or your assistant? No, I'm using myself. I'm, I'm going at the end, at the tip, uh, at the level of the apex. Sometimes I will ask Christine to, to place the clip because I am not on the good uh, position. But most of the time, for, for most of the time, I will do the, the clip alone. So you see, I will now so I, I'm, I'm dealing with the posterior aspect. Now we are, it's quite finished on the left side. The thing, one thing you didn't tell is that you are left-handed and you are using uh, the scissors in the yes, left hand. Yes, I, 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 I said it at the beginning, but uh, perhaps it's a okay. good idea to say it again. Okay, so now we'll, we'll do the, the right <laughs> side. Okay, so Christine will hold the... And now again, we'll, we'll do exactly the same. So the, 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 the tumor is on the right side, so I will be perhaps a little bit more large, even if on the MRI there, there was no... Uh, infiltration of the capsule. I will just go on slowly. So I gave the, the De Novillier to Christine and I have to, to dissect here a little bit more posteriorly. This time is very important. It's too, too hard. This, this time is this very important. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. at that time, if you don't uh, release very well the, the rectum, you, you can injure it. So uh, that's why. Ah, dommage, Christine. <laughs> OK, on recommence. C'est le dernier clip que vous m'en mettez, s'il vous plaît. I fully agree. The, the, okay. the risk of uh, injury of the rectum is, is due to. Uh, Exactly. Insufficient uh, lateral dissection. Exactly. At that time, it's very important to go on. We see very well the bulk of the, of the prostate itself, so we have just to go on and we will. Uh, ah, elle tient pas. Reprenez juste la vésicule, Christine. La base de la vésicule. Parfait. Prenez le, 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 le de Novillier maintenant. Parfait. Il ne faut pas aller trop, trop, trop près de ce côté-là. Oh, yeah. you, you, you are doing a very good job. Why do you use the robot sometimes? Why are you using the robot? Just to, uh, I think the robot is perfect for, for young surgeon to, 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 to teach. Okay, but uh, I pr really, I, I'm doing a robot for seven, seven years, but I prefer to do a laparoscopic approach. I, I, I take more and more, more uh, I'm more happy with the uh, with laparoscopic approach than, than with the robot, because I, I, I feel that I am really doing the, the job and not, not with the machine. But I, I know that the robot is, uh, is an evidence. So, and for young surgeon, I think it's, it's better. But for me, because I have uh, experience, uh, Emolok, I prefer to do this this way. In normal uh, situation, it's, it takes... Uh, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's quicker in laparoscopic than, than in robotic. But it depends on your habits. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that the robot is perfect. And I'm doing exactly the same technique when I'm doing it uh, robotically. Reprenez la, Christine. What is very important is to, to, to codify everything, to be always ready, always okay. to be able. Here, it will be my force arm holding the, it's exactly the same, in fact. I will do exactly the same. Can you, can, can you clean the lens, please? Okay, we'll, we'll do it. On, on nettoie, s'il vous plaît. Christine, s'inquiète. Elle te demande qui Qui, qui parle. Elle te demande qui c'est, c'est emmerdeur, c'est ça <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we go on. So do you see now the, the external view? So we have just to finish the, with this big pedicle. And always what I want is to see the internal view. You see? Uh, about the technique, you are de doing a, a descending technique. You don't associate a part of uh, ascending. 
No, not, not at that time. I will go as it's far... A pure, it's, it's a pure descending. So yes, far. exactly. At that time, I, I, I prefer to do as maximum as I can by, by this way. Okay, Christine, on y va. So no, no, you are a little bit extra facial, no? Exactly. Attention, attention, restez bien au centre. Reprenez cette partie-là. Votre pince est moins, un peu traumatique. Doucement. A generation of uh, good laparoscopies. Yeah. Uh, okay, we arrive at the at the end now of this bundle. Okay, so, so you have some, you have some fat on, on the on some the prostate fat, uh, in contact with the prostate. Okay, so now we are we arrive at the at the time of the apex. So we, we will go on. We will ask to rise up the the, the level of the of the uh, the pressure above a 15 to. Il reste encore un côté de curage à faire. Hein. Voilà. So I, I would like to ask you some questions about the dorsal vein complex and the sphincter. So I will, yes. Do you think that there is a, a role on the on this part of the surgery in terms of uh, quality of uh, continence yes, or it's, not? It's very, very so important. Some very people important. Are so it's a, this time is the mo most important time, I think. You have the, the, the pre preservation for the continuous, but, but you have also that time. Uh, at the beginning, we were, we were uh, cutting everything here, and now we, we know that we have to stay as close as possible to the prostate to avoid to have uh, injury. So if we can, we will just try to be as close as possible. Make a clip now. And uh, I will, uh, on, on oh. a, I will re reconstruct uh, anteriorly. You see. So you consider also that the puboprostatic ligament is a good uh, thing to spare in order to yes, yes, clip to preserve to preserve the continent. Exactly. Okay. So you don't try any more the tonsil complex. No, no, no. Good rules. So what you are saying is that the, the puboprostatic ligament are in contact with the dorsal vein complex and in contact with the sphincter behind. If you spare the puboprostatic ligament and if you cut the dorsal vein complex a little bit far from the pubis bone. You spare the you spare in good condition uh, the, the sphincter. Exactly. And your results in terms of continence will be very good. Si. If you cut the dorsal vein complex close to the and the puboprostatic ligament close bien. to the Parfait. pubis bone, you destroy a part of the sphincter and you will have bad results in terms of continence. This uh, this thing is now really well documented and. Uh, I think these rules are very important. 
you, you agree? Uh, exactly. Uh, and you s Eric? Exactly. It's very, very important to, to, to... So you see at that time, I will reuse again the scissors because I, I, I want to be behind the, the post, the, at, the, at, the, at the apex, behind the urethra, just to be as, as done as possible. Okay? And to be behind the urethra, so clip again, Christine. Okay. Encore un petit clip là. If you divide the, do the dorsal vein complex far from the pubis bone, you, you will not have too much uh, bleeding. If you cut the dorsal vein complex exactly. close to the pubis bone, you have large veins and you have a, a important bleeding. So this is very important also. Exactly. And after cutting, uh, dividing complete, completely the dorsal vein complex, the, the, the bleeding will stop. Attention. You see, the bleeding is not important because he, he divided far from the pubis bone. Clip, s'il vous plaît. So you see that slowly everything is uh, lifting up. You see that I work with, uh, in, in good condition because I, I'm seeing very well my, my scope is fixed. And in fact, okay, now we arrive at the level of the urethra, you see. I will just pay attention to this time because this time is very, very important. I will just zoom a little bit to be really as close as possible to, to see very well and to finish very well. Because for me, it's very important this time to, to see the urethra. Are you going to turn the prostate in order to exactly. be sure that there is no... Exactly, oh. exactly, you will see. So you see now, at that, no at, that, at that time, I will just turn the prostate like this, you see, I will take the posterior aspect of the prostate, and then I will be totally uh, at the posterior aspect of the, of the urethra, and you see that now I'm able to, to see if sometime you have a, a, a part of the prostate going behind the, the urethra, you, you are able to, to deal with and to finish a dissection like this, and you are really sure, 100, 100 confident to, to be sure that you are posterior to the urethra. Okay, I will do exactly the symmetric thing, so now it will be, Christine will do it, okay? And I will just arrive, and here it's important to, to finish the dissection, petit clip, s'il vous plaît. To finish a dissection, to have the the, the last attachment for the, for, of the bundle, because sometimes you see the bundles are going there, and if you go straight, then you will yeah. transect it. So it's very important to, to pay attention at this, this time to go as close as possible to the to the prostate behind it, and then to finish. And now you see very well the. the Where are you? Where are your robotic scissors? You don't, you don't see them. I will use it for the end. But uh, as I said, it, it depends on it's it's it depends on steps. I, if it's necessary, I will use it for a long long time. If it's not necessary, I, I won't use it. It depends. I think it's useful to have it, but not for all the, the steps. So you see, if I want, I will just work a little bit and just finish my dissection. See, I'm able to be really perpendicular to, to, the, to the retra, and now I will just... So you are doing a good job with the scissors. Prendre la petite pince bipolaire, là, comme ça, parfait, on va finir. On will transect the urethra now and it's finished. Et 
tirer plutôt là-haut. Enlevez un petit peu la sonde, s'il vous plaît. Remettez la sonde. Are you two or three people? Normally, I used to work only with Working one, together. only with, with one people. Today, we have uh, Natalie with us. It's great, but uh, with my configuration in in, in, uh, in my institution, I don't need. Okay. Alors, on va mettre le fil sur le sur le, sant sur le santo. Okay, it's quite finished. We will just uh, place. I, I I like to place a stitch before. Uh, cutting totally the, the retra because I, I think it's it's easier to to, to, to do the the suture before and I will just uh, just do a little uh, suture just to, to go on to, to finish So I, I, I'm doing a, a running shooter, a go and back shooter. On va, on va pouvoir remettre la pression euh, normalement, s'il vous plaît. What, what was your pressure? It was, it was at the time of the, uh, of the section of the dorsal valve complex, it's 15, but normally it's 12. Okay? But just at the time of the, of the okay. I just rise up the, the level just to, and I asked my assistant to, to, to avoid to, to do suction, to let the good pressure inside. Okay, we will just, so I used to refix this to, to the, to fix it, you see? On va couper, s'il vous plaît. Pour moi, c'est it can be helpful for the early continence to 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 have a good fixation uh, anteriorly. Everything is important to preserve. C'est bon, Christine, je suis arrivé. To preserve as maximum as you can the bundles, but also to Elle est complètement collée là-haut, ce petit fil. Ouais, d'accord. Also, to, to refix, uh, I think it's important if you can. Uh, in robots, you can, you can preserve, but perhaps more. But uh, in laparoscopic approach, I like to, 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 to refix and to recreate an entire fixed point. OK, est-ce que je peux avoir le, les ciseaux et l'autre petit fil, s'il vous plaît L'autre fil sur l'urètre. It is difficult to say what is the most important thing because there we, is a we, lot we, of studies. Exactly, like exactly. We don't know. Randomized and non-randomized and so on. But uh, I think when we discuss with all the experts together, the evolution was to think that uh, the most important is probably the dissection of the apex, like you did, did it before, by not, uh, not tying the dorsal vein complex and uh, 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 sparing the pubo-prostatic ligament and so on, and I think so that I used to uh, it. Yes. all, exper all experts are, are going towards this direction now. So I used to refix together the, the, fi the muscular fibers coming from the, from the sphincter going to, to, to the prostate, which we have cut, cut them, and I used to refix them all together to To have an entire fixed point, uh, you see, it's don't, not. Don't shoot her too much to sphincter. If the sphincter does, does not take too much this camera, don't. don't uh. Just, okay, it's finished. Okay, ciseau. Now we'll place the, the prostate in the bag and we'll do the anastomosis. For anastomosis, you have. 
Monsieur. Are you going to use the barbed suture or? No, uh, no, no. I, I used to. That? No. I, I'm an old-fashioned surgeon, even if I am young. I am. You will see an old uh, separate points uh, interrupted stitches surgery. I like. So I go and with robot I'm doing a running shooter and with uh, with laparoscopic approach I'm doing separate points. On va met, on va se mettre là-bas, pas grave. Je vais mettre. Uh, okay. Okay. So now we go for the anastomosis. Phil, please. Well, well done and good job. Perhaps if you have to, we, if we have to leave, can show you the, the dissection here. All the all all the lymph node dissection we have done. Okay. And now. Eric uh -huh. is Walter Artiban is speaking. Do you consider this uh, lymphadenectomy a standard or standard? This is uh, only a uh, limited uh, dissection. When you, uh, an, an extended uh, lymph node dissection will be uh, to the outside here, but there is quite nothing but here, and just go uh, uh, at the level of the crossing of road of the of the ureter. Okay. Here it's uh, mixed. So what is the rationale? What is what is the rationale in this case to perform a limited lymphadenectomy? Uh, in fact, uh, the, the glycine is six, and the PSA level was 11. <laughs> so we imagine that uh, because it was 11, we said perhaps we have to do. But I'm not sure it's a real indi indication. There was nothing on the on the MRI, but. Uh, uh, we discussed with Thierry, the, this patient is, is a patient of Thierry Piesho, and he, he asked me to do a limited, limited uh, lymph node dissection. He's 70, 60 years old. The, the, the thing is to avoid also to have big complications like uh, lymphocell or, or, uh, or uh, phlebitis. So we, we have to, 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 do, to, to pay attention to back. Because uh, when you are doing uh, this kind of uh, extended leaf node dissection, it's okay, but uh, we have seen uh, some, some, some problem also. Eh? So I think this patient is a, not a, is a low risk patient. Eh? So probably we, we, we should not do any, any lymph node dissection. What do you think in the, in the audience? I don't know. Normally, uh, the, today, uh, we, we say if uh, there is an indication for lymph node dissection, have to be extended. But there is no place for limited, so and uh, low low glycine score and uh, and uh, MRI normal MRI does not lead to to dissection at all. But I understand that you can just. Uh, uh, I, I have one question about the reconstruction. Uh, today, many people are using the, the Rocco stitch in order to approximate the bladder and uh, the urethra and to have a good posterior layer. You didn't do it. You, you don't believe on that, I think. No, I don't believe on that, but I think it could be a good idea also. Uh, yeah. I think everything is important. I prefer to reconstruct anteriorly, to, to, to do a, as a sling procedure uh, uh, anteriorly, but... Pousser un petit peu la sonde, s'il vous plaît. Okay, back. What do you think, Walter, about... Uh, we the posterior reconstruction. Are you doing that, or? Well, I, I'm doing that. Uh, well, routinely, actually, yeah. I think the main role is uh, to have a more stabilized uh, anastomosis, vesicular reflux anastomosis, and it avoids uh, posterior bleeding. I'm not sure about the role of this posterior reconstruction regarding uh, early continence. Mm. Uh, I fully agree with you, and uh, I, I don't believe on uh, the role on continence, but I like to do it also for every patient, because I like to have a, a nice posterior layer, and uh, in terms of stability, and in terms of uh, quality of uh, anastomosis, because you, you have a good layer, the, the, the posterior leakage will not appear at all, so it's nice uh, to do a nice uh, posterior layer. I think what is really important... Eric, uh, yes? 
Yes. Excuse me. Eric, I have a question to you. If I understood uh, well what you said before, is that in your hands you don't see any advantage using uh, the robotic procedure? Does it mean that your outcome is similar using robot or exactly. doing it, this conventional laparoscopy? I have exactly the same outcomes. Exactly. The same st uh, hospital stay, the same result in terms of, of continence and potency. I'm doing exactly. Did you publish this data? We, we, we published some data, uh, yes. Uh, we have to, to, re, to yeah. redo news. Yeah. We have done in, to, in 2012. But we have to, do, to redo it. But uh, it's not fashion. That's why it's not, uh, it's not written. And, uh, but uh, but I think I'm, sure, is, I'm sure with the three... With 3D vision... This is uh, rather interesting. Because if you look at the literature, uh, there are several uh, centers, refer centers for laparoscopy, and some of them did randomized trial. And uh, they showed that apparently there is an advantage using robotics in comparison with conventional laparoscopy. Yes, I, I, perhaps yeah, we have... Uh, in, in, uh, yeah, in our department, we have compared 13,000, uh, 15,000 uh, robotic and 15,000 pure laparoscopy like this technique, and uh, we found a big difference in terms of uh, using uh, sphincter, what, what uh, Van Point was using any kind of uh, surgery after the, uh, after the radical prostatectomy in, in terms of, in, uh, in order to, uh, to control the continence, and we found a big difference, no sphincter after robotic, uh, very few, uh, very few, less than one percent of, uh, less than point one percent of uh, any kind of urethral uh, device, and uh, very, really, really significant. And we were uh, in, in condition to say that the robotic gives a better result in terms of continuous, like uh, in all the literature. Yes, uh, we don't know why because the technique is the technique is exactly the same. Exactly the same, and the results are different. What is very important, I think, for the robot is, the, is, the, is the, the resting position. So I'm sure that it's better because, uh, in fact, when you get older, it's difficult to stay a long time. If it's, well, it must be a short surgery because if it's long surgery, uh, it's difficult and you are... Um, you are really uh, more, more uh, efficient when you are in a resting position. This is, uh, this is the role of a robot for the, for the surgeon. Exactly. This is different. But what the patient wants is to be continent after the surgery. He does not like any kind of leakage. So, and uh, what, what we want really to have uh, good continence after the surgery. Because the surgeon will, will be continent anywhere after the surgery. Allez, je sais pas le bon, c'est pas le bon, c'est celui-là. The most important part is the posterior layer. You 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 must have a posterior layer without any dot perfectly. Uh, that's Absol what. Uh, absolutely. When you have a leakage on the posterior layer. Uh, it can create. Uh, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. It it, it will create uh, just. How many days do you leave the catheter in? Uh, the, the the patient is going uh, back home at day two with the catheter, and the the catheter is uh, taking off uh, at home at day seven. Okay, so we have without any uh, uh, cystography or nothing. Just at home. We, we, tr we, tried, uh, we tried to remove the catheter after three days, and uh, we, we had 80% uh, of patients very happy, but 20% uh, of patients very unhappy because at uh, three, three o'clock in the morning, they have a big pain, they are in retention, <laughs> and uh, they are saying that uh, you are terrible because uh, this pain is, uh, you need to put the catheter at three o'clock in the morning. Yes, and uh, so we have decided we have decided to change and to go to eight days, seven days, 
and uh, seven days there is very few people having uh, this e kind of complication which e is uh, e exactly. terrible. Yes. So again, if we want do to... Do you use any... Uh, we, we can... We what, can what do you think about the... Uh, uh, sister cat? I, I, do, I don't use any sister cat. Uh, uh, if we want to... T I to don't use it also. If we want to discuss uh, concerning Dext, uh, you have exactly the same uh, instrument as the scissors as you have seen with... with uh, with needle holder. I don't use it because I'm not used to. Okay, non, c'est bon, lâchez tout, enlevez tout. Voilà. But you can, you can also, uh, pour la mettre complètement. You can use the needle holder, and, uh, but uh, for me, it's, uh, I prefer to do it like, like this. But you see, in, in robotic, it's, for me, it's more di difficult to do the, the anastomosis with the robots than with the laparoscopics. Because I, I'm, I have totally codified my, 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 my uh, my needle, I, do, I know exactly uh, which angulation, which, which hand is doing the surgery. And in fact, I, I try to do the same with the robot. And in the, it's difficult for me because you don't need. So when you do the robotic anastomosis, are you doing uh, continuous suture yes, or yes, just separate yes, stitches? Um, no, uh, we are doing continuous suture with, uh, with barbed suture because we, we, we teach to, for the resident and I, it's easier for me to, to, to look at what they are doing instead of, of doing a ten, ten, uh, 10 punch and to, to block them and, and so on. So here, uh, we, we can imagine... And did you try? We can imagine to finish with... Did you try barber suture in conventional laparoscopy? No. Okay, we can go on with... Uh, 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 Oui, euh, vous avez raison. Oui, oui, oui. Faut que je le coupe ou alors. Euh... Là ouais. D'accord. Je parlais et je ne faisais pas attention. Non, c'est bien, c'est bien. Eric, do, do you have any experience with the rectus pairing uh, uh, radical prostatectomy? What do you mean? Rectus uh, just, just the Bocciardi, Bocciardi's technique. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's impossible. Just do. No, I think it's impossible. So, uh, do, do, I'm this, sure. This was my question, actually. Do, th do you think it's possible by conventional laparoscopy? No, no. Using uh, your dexterity system and all the tricks no, you no. have? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Really, because you have to be uh, straight. You have to be. No, no. I think uh, if you want to do book or this uh, technique, you, you, you should have a, a robot and a 30 degree lens. Yeah. No, no. Uh, you, you have to adapt the technique to your tools. Huh? Uh, it's not. Uh, no, no. It's impossible. And, uh, also, the, the, the surgery we have seen yesterday, the beautiful surgery of lymph, lymph node dissection, I think is not possible uh, because uh, you, can, you can't stay seven, uh, six hours like this. Uh, okay. Uh, for several surgery, I'm sure that the robot is perfect. But for example, for, for prolapse surgery, for, uh, for uh, nephrectomy, for, for partial nephrectomy for me, uh, I, 
I really, I prefer to do it by laparoscopic approach because I'm able to, to, to suture without any problem. And there is no, no advantage for me. And it's, it's, uh, most, uh, it's cost effective for my, for, for my institution, okay? I'm doing exactly the same surgery. I'm, I've, I have exactly the same outcomes. And uh, so my, my, my institutions soon say, why, why to buy this kind of, uh, of, uh, of tools? I say, okay, it's just, just because it's fashion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's difficult, you so see. One question. I, 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 I can perform, for example, four uh, radicals the same day in the same room and maybe sometime four. And uh, I'm not tired at the end of the day. Are you tired after four? Uh, no, no. Two, I'm uh, three or four uh, I'm radical. Uh, no, I'm able to do. Uh, to I'm, able, I'm able to do five laparoscopic per day. No problem. We, we are. You are not tired. No. Okay. Because I sit uh, norm normally. I, I sit on a chair. Um, and really, I work with my two arm along the body. Perhaps you see. You see my uh, my arm. Uh, and normally I'm, I'm sitting, but here uh, today I have not my uh, the, the good seat. But so I'm not not tired at all. But and your knees are okay. My knees are okay. My back is also also okay. So it's quite. F I think we have <laughs> one more uh, or two more uh, stitches, and we will just uh, step test uh, the bladder. I was doing something like four or five, the same day, pure laparoscopy, but I had the knees uh, pain. And, uh, attendez, attendez. When I stopped to do that, uh, the knees pain disappeared. So by sitting, maybe it's, it's better. But usually the laparoscopy doesn't sit, they are just standing up. Okay, one more, I think, and it will be okay. We'll test. So, I hope you, you like this, uh, this surgery. I think we have, uh, we have done a good job with, with Christine and with uh, Natalie. Très bien, très bien, Eric. Très very, bien, très, très intéressant. Very nice job, very fast, and uh, well done, and uh, with good uh, explanation, discussion. Fantastic. Thank, thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very much. Complimenti. On fait un petit test après. Allez-y, c'est bon. Il y a encore un petit truc, Christine, vous pensez au centre Christine, c'est le juge de paix, elle regarde toujours tout, donc elle a raison, souvent elle a raison, malheureusement. Allez-y, levez, euh, gonflez, on va voir. Reculez-vous. Encore Remettez encore. Ok, c'est bien. C'est bon. Parfait. No leakage. Ok, thank you. Well done. Thank you. Euh, on fait peut-être un petit curage du côté gauche, rapide, et puis c'est bon. C'est très bien. Merci beaucoup. Là, je suis complètement trempé dans ce truc-là, dans ces, 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 ces tuniques en plastique. là. On va par là, ma petite Christine. Oui, vous la, vous la mettez pas, non Ah non, vous la mettez pas. Clip, s'il vous plaît. Okay. Clip. 
Je ne sais pas si on n'a pas intérêt à se remettre, que sinon ce sera quand même mieux, non Vous pouvez me lever ce trocard Je me demande. Juste pour se remettre dans les vraies conditions, comme on fait d'habitude. Ok. C'était très bien la caméra, hein la caméra très bien. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Pourquoi il fait ça Normalement, il se débraye pas comme ça, ce truc-là. Non mais sinon on donne à Nathalie un truc, ce sera peut-être plus simple, elle peut, elle peut tenir un truc, hein, Nathalie, elle sait bien faire de la CEO, il hein, n'y a aucun souci. Hein, donc on peut... Parce que sinon, parce que là j'arrive pas à m'exposer bien, voilà, parfait. Doucement, attention, hein, parce qu'il y a des petits vaisseaux ici, on va pas... Attention, on n'avait pas arraché derrière, là. attention avec votre pince, Christine, voilà. Et clip. Ok, ça c'est bien. On va revérifier là. Un petit truc qui... On va mettre tout ça dans, 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 dans le sac. Vous pouvez chercher le sac là-bas. Vous pouvez partir de ça. C'est bon, on va, on, on va avoir fini. Hein. On va mettre le ganglion dedans, parce que sinon en même temps, ça sera fait. On va pas s'embêter parce que moi je... Ouais, le sac, on va le mettre dans le sac. Ok. Prenez le sac, je, je, je serai plus en l'axe, je pense. Prenez le sac à ma place. Ok, l'autre. Ok, alors on va prendre ça. Vous allez me donner... Euh, oui, il faut mettre un petit coup d'émoloque là-dessus. Ok. 
Okay. Le redon, s'il vous plaît. Relevez mon trocar. Ok, le redon. Vous le mettez là. Okay. Vous pouvez retirer votre trocard. Parfait. Très bien.